So Dan, welcome to Aldershot. How's it feel to have signed for us? Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to be here. Um, such a good club with a good fan base and yeah, it'll be good to come here alone and push on. Yeah, really good. I'm sure the fans will see it in action soon, but how would you describe your game in your own words? Uh, I like to impact the match, whether that's in our, our own box or um, defending our own box or impacting in the attacking opposition box. Uh, I like to play as well, uh, long diagonal passes. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm a defender first and foremost. Um, but yeah, I like to play as well. Yeah. You spent a lot of time at Chippenham where you broke through, didn't you? So how, how does it feel to have that rise through the ranks and, and, and make a name for yourself at, at a club where you know you, you came through? Yeah, yeah, it was really good coming through at Chippenham. Obviously come from the academy there, um, come up to the first team last season, last season. So I've got a good taste of senior football at a, at a good level at the National South. So. Yeah, I think this is the, the natural step up and um, yeah, I'm really happy to get going and meeting the supporters. And your form at Chippenham and you were moving to the Football League this summer. So talk us a little bit about that. What was it like making that step up to, to Bristol Rovers? Yeah, yeah, it's been it's been it's been tough to be fair. Um uh, pre season was was definitely tough, but um the last couple of months I've really been starting to to come out of my shell a bit. Um and yeah, I just I've been really wanting to play football. And uh, I'm really happy that um, they've given me the opportunity here to play and um, hopefully make an impact on the team. You said off camera you know a few of the lads, so, so tell us about how you've met them. I guess it was the England Sea game, wasn't it? Yeah, I know a few of the lads from the England Sea game. Um, a really good experience there, obviously, at Aldershot Stadium. Um, it was um, yeah, it was brilliant. More Nepalese fans there, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really good to be like a part of that and obviously I've already been at the stadium and I know it's a great stadium and the, and I've been in the town with a lot of history so yeah. And what was that like for you that that England Sea experience? You're still very very young aren't you so it must have been a bit a bit early in your career for it maybe you thought but you know you, you went there you did it and you got you got your England Sea cap so that must have been a brilliant experience. Yeah I didn't expect it to be honest um, uh, my season was just about over after my, a few trials at the end of the season um, and then I got got the call from uh, my manager Gary Horgan, just saying that Paul's Paul Fairclough's giving him the call, and that I, I need to um, go over tomorrow. And yeah, it was a really good experience um, with loads of really good quality players and loads from older shot as well. So. And we're talking before training started, so you, you haven't got to meet everyone yet, and you haven't really got to get a feel of it just yet. But I guess you must be really excited to push on and, and get going. Yeah, really excited. Um, I met loads of the lads, they seem really nice, so yeah, I'm happy to get going. Yeah.